everybody, my name is Lauren. I'm the park naturalist at the Anita Sea Light Estuary Center. And today I wanted to take a couple minutes to share with you one of our critters. So this critter right here is our Diamondback Terrapin. And she has been with us for quite a few years now. She is fully grown and it is a female. I say that because of her size. Uh, female Diamondback Terrapins are much bigger than males. Uh, Diamondback Terrapins are found in brackish water, like our Chesapeake Bay. So I like to call her our Chesapeake Bay Turtle. The tank that she's in here at the center has a little bit of salt in it, so she is not kept with our other turtles in the pond directly behind me. Uh, Diamondback Terrapins, they live in the brackish water of the Chesapeake Bay, and so they like to eat things like snails, crabs, fish, uh, lots of animals that are have a harder shell or harder bones. Um, and they have some really neat adaptations that help them eat those animals and also survive in this brackish water environment. So our female right here, the first thing I wanna mention about her is her beak. So she has this really neat beak that grows continuously, um, kind of like the teeth on a rodent or even your nails. And in the wild when she's eating, when she's eating snails and crabs, that gets worn down naturally. So you can notice that her beak is really even right now. But here at the center, we don't feed her crabs, we don't feed her shrimp, um, but we do give her crushed coral in her tank, which helps keep her beak at that nice even uh, level. Now, what you might also notice is her coloration, something that I think stands out a lot with Diamondback Terrapins. This is camouflage, even though it sort of stands out to us right now, her skin, these patterns on her skin help her blend in with the water, and her shell, the color of her shell helps her blend in with her habitat in the bay. So if you notice, the back part of her shell is a darker color, so it blends in with the bottom of the Chesapeake Bay, and so when there's a predator or even something she's trying to eat above her, they, when they look down, she blends in. If you look at the bottom of her shell here, it's a lighter color, and that is to help when there are animals below her looking up, she's gonna blend in with the sunlight coming through um, the water. So this is a really neat way for camouflaging and this is also called counter shading. A lot of animals that swim and fly have this type of camouflage, this counter shading. Uh, she is an aquatic turtle, obviously, if she lives in the Chesapeake Bay. There's a few ways you can tell she's aquatic. One is her feet, right? She has really, really webbed feet. Now, not all aquatic turtles have super webbed feet, but she has a pretty prominent webbed feet. And if you look, I'll try to get her to stick her foot out, but you know, they only cooperate when they want to. Um, you, could, you can really see how strong and how big her feet are. Living in the bay, some of that water can be moving quickly, so she has to be able to swim through different currents. Um, so there you go, you get a really good look at her foot right there. Um, and she also has these nails that help her grip on when she does need to get out of the water. Uh, these turtles lay eggs on land. They don't lay them in the water. And they look for a sandy soil to lay their eggs in. Fun fact, turtles' eggs are dependent on the temperature of the soil. So if you have warm soil, you get girls. If you have cooler soil, you get boys. So we always remember hot chicks and cool dudes. It's a fun little fact about that. Uh, the last thing that I wanted to share about her, um, if we can get a really good look, are just her eyes. She's got really, really beautiful eyes. They're almost like a sea foam green. Um, and turtles, if you ever get a chance to really get a good look at their eyes, and of course she's closing her eyes right now, um, but all of them have sort of different looks um, to them. So it's a, it's a cool thing to try and check out. Um, but I think that's all I really want to share about her today. She does stay with us here at the Estuary Center, so after we're all done this social distancing and life gets back to normal, please come by and come and check her out and say hello, and you can even come and see her for one of our Mita Critters in person. Uh, but thank you all, and stay safe and healthy, and we'll tune in again soon.